you. All right, so this is the uh, automotive air conditioner that I have. Uh, so let's go over some of the parts here. So there's a clutch on this end, which, so these are driven by the motor with a belt on the motor. So this is right now is free spinning. And there's a solenoid in here. This is the electrical connection right here. So 12 volts gets fed to this when there's a call for air conditioning. Um, because it's automotive, it's just grounded through the, uh, the chassis, which most uh, automotive things do. So just one wire in the chassis is the other wire to complete, or the other connection to complete the circuit. Um, so when this has 12 volts on it, this engages. So this whole thing will turn instead of just this idling wheel. The whole thing turns and drives the compressor on the inside. Um, ports, suction, discharge, should be able to pull that out, just those are just kind of holding everything in, a smaller discharge, these are just the bolts that hold the flanges down, so these would connect to rubber hoses which go to the condenser and to the evaporator, um, which, I mean, that's the way an automotive works. Um, so what I've done here, this, when I got this, um, there's bolts on the back here, and um, the bolts were really rusty. There's one right there, uh, one that's left. Um, and, you know, they're, they're torques and they wouldn't come loose. So I ended up, uh, again, spared you the details, but ended up drilling all these out so that uh, you didn't have to watch me doing that. Um, so I'm gonna take this part. So here we go. I'm gonna show you something pretty interesting here. Um, so I'll take this bolt out. That's the one that's holding everything together. And, whoops. Just gotta separate this and we should be okay. center here needs to be undone too. That needs to come out so that that can come off and then we can pull this apart like that. So there's one part and sure why that's not coming apart. We just go grab a hammer and tap that, but that should be coming apart as well. <laughs> just a sec. So some interesting things here. So I don't know if you noticed the green slime on this. When I first took this apart, it was absolutely loaded with this green. And uh, this is what it looks like. So somebody has a very fluorescent, this is the oil that was in the compressor, very fluorescent. So whether it's leak stop or whether it's uh, leak dye or whatever it is, um, was really fouling up this compressor. I know all that stuff you can just buy at the automotive stores to... Uh, leaks are pretty prevalent in um, automotive air conditioning. So there's the compressor, which... See if you can guess what type of compressor that is. If you guessed rotary, you are correct. But the thing to notice is that these little blades are not moving very well. They're really, really stuck because of that 
gummy, gummy oil. So they're, they, they're t supposed to flip out. As this turns, they flip out by centrifugal action, but they're so stuck that this really isn't there, you can see. So what they do is they go up against that surface and, and then keep going. <clears throat> so that's this automotive compressor. And if, you know, you can see, um, you buy this stuff at the uh, automotive store, which is supposed to uh, help you or stop leaks or whatever, but the amount of damage that it does is uh, pretty, pretty heavy. Um, so that is a car air conditioner compressor and how it works. There's the parts, clutch, so there you have it.